Hi, my name is Jill Adler. I'm from Park City, Utah. Originally, I'm from California, from Southern California. But then I moved to Park City to ski. I'm a freelance journalist, an actor, a voiceover artist. I also teach skiing at Canyons. I have two reasons for coming to Front Sight this weekend. One is I've always wanted to check this place out. I am a huge uh, internet computer geek and about three years ago I was surfing the web and I don't know what I was searching for but all of a sudden I came across this stuff at front Fire site room. and I was like ooh check this out and, and there's bays and there's lanes and desert and lots of guns this sounds cool um, I am a kind of an adrenaline junkie in a way but not in a dangerous way I have a lot of friends that would die in an avalanche but that's not me but I do rock climb mountain bike, uh, whitewater kayak, hike, ski, um, anything like that. I haven't skydived yet, but I did see the ropes course and I really want to try that. So so that kind of put front sight itself on the radar. As far as wanting to learn to shoot, I had a BB gun when I was little and my brother and sister and I would always shoot cans in the backyard and as we got older my dad had guns in the house but he never let us touch them or see them and he started to take my brother shooting and finally I, you know I'd, I'd watch them drive off and I'd ask my mom and she oh well he forgot to ask you again. and finally I go to my dad and I said dad what about me why aren't you taking me and he said girls don't play with guns and I've never listened to my dad I had ideas of what Front Sight would be like. I knew they were long days. I was ready for that. I knew we would shoot a lot. I was not ready for the amount of technical training that we got, which was something I needed. I was never afraid to have somebody put a gun in my hand, but the thought of trying to clean a gun, trying to uh, reload a gun, work with a magazine, all that stuff, even knowing the lingo, uh, that people who, who are around guns know all the time. That was a bonus to me. I, I didn't think that, because I started the one I was like, four days? What do I need four days for? You, you do a concealed weapon permit class in one day. Why would I want to be out here for four days? And the more you, you go and you learn and you take these, uh, you know, each day, the more you realize you have so much more to learn. It's not something where you just slap a gun in your hand and you go out and shoot and, ooh, look at me. You hear people say, I don't like guns. Oh, uh, guns are bad. And I am willing to bet that most of those people that say that have never shot a gun. And what I would say to people like that, or people who think I'm being silly by really enjoying my time at Front Sight, is try it first. I felt that way about everything. I have a six year old daughter, and I make her take a taste of everything before she says, I don't like it. And I think once people get the sense that guns are not this violent, um, crazy aspect of life, and that there's a skill involved, it's a sport, um, that maybe they'd actually back off from that attitude. And that's what I would say to them, try it first. I would also like to say thank you for having a compound like this and a place for people to go, especially women, where they can learn uh, and respect a firearm. But I also hope that you will continue to encourage other people to do this and not, not stand on a political platform or podium and, and shout about uh, you know, Second Amendment rights and things like that. It's the bad guys don't care what laws there are, they will find a gun and they will use it. They don't care. And I think it's our responsibility to be the ones that also have a gun to, to protect ourselves against that. Because good guys aren't going to come into your house with a gun. The bad guys are the ones that do.